So the next topic we're going to be talking about is going to be cholecystitis. Not cholelithiasis like we just talked about in the last lecture. Cholecystitis. <clears throat> so what is the definition of cholecystitis? Chole, like I told you, means gallbladder, right? Gallbladder. Cyst. Back to this picture again. They're talking about a cystic duct, right? From the word cyst. Itis means inflammation. So if we were to break this word up into pieces, like I always tell people to do when they don't understand the, uh, the uh, naming uh, medicine, inflammation of the cystic duct going to the gallbladder. Cholecystitis. That's the topic we're going to be talking about. So what causes this? Initially, we did talk about cholelithiasis, which is the stone. So let's keep talking about the story of the little kids in the little apartment. Their mother told them not to go outside. So now the stone got stuck. Last time it got stuck, then it fell back. That's called biliary colic. This time, the stone was trying to go through the door. It gets caught. It gets caught in the door, and it's not leaving. Obstruction of the cystic duct. Now, here's the problem. Every time the gallbladder contracts, it's contracting against this little guy. It's contracting, it's contracting, it's contracting. But the problem is, the stone is stuck there. <coughs> the stone is not falling out. Eventually, the gallbladder starts to get what? Inflamed. It's the inflammation. What causes it when inflammation happens? Remember from basic pathology? Fluid comes in, histamine bursts, right? pericholecystic fluid, right? That's called inflammation. Inflammation causes what? Pain, dolor, right? Pain, inflammation. So, how in history, how are these patients going to present with? They're going to come into the hospital. They're going to be, Doc, you know, for the past three days, I haven't been feeling well. I've been having right upper quadrant pain. They're not going to tell us right upper quadrant. That's your doc, that's your job. He was like, doc, the pain is right over here. You're like, really? Oh, wow. How bad is the pain? It's about a 10. Is it constant or comes off and on? Why do I ask that question? If I say is it off and on, I'm thinking biliary colic. If it's constant, this stone is stuck, right? If it's stuck, now it's constant pain. This is pain about nine out of 10. It's radiating to the back. Going over here, bore sign again, right? Irritation of the phrenic nerve, of the diaphragm, right? You're like, okay. And he knows it, like, yeah, I've been nauseous. And he vomiting, yeah, I've been vomiting. Nausea, vomiting, right upper quadrant pain, radiating to the back. That would be their history. F low grade fever. Then you ask them, let me take a look at you. You expose their belly. You want to check for Murphy's sign. Murphy's sign. Okay. How do we test for Murphy's sign? You take your hand, you put it on their belly, you push, they're going to say it hurts. Hold on. You push all the way far down. You tell them to take a deep breath. When they take a deep breath, they're going to stop halfway through. You know why? Because it hurts so much. That is a positive Murphy sign. Most cases you might not find it, and they still come in a right upper quadrant uh, pain. However, an inspiratory arrest during a deep palpation of the right upper quadrant, positive Murphy sign. If you find that, bam, you just nailed the diagnosis. You know for sure it's probably something wrong with their gallbladder. Okay? Now, another thing we're gonna do, we're gonna have to figure labs, right? We've done physical exam, okay. We want to go, what diagnostic studies do we want to order? Well, I'll get that most expensive test that everybody thinks is very expensive, but it's really cheap. We get it right up a quarter an ultrasound, right? We take an ultrasound, we take it on the belly. What do we see? Check this out. We see a lot of water. It's not water, it's fluid. Okay? Matter of fact, let's change that to red. Because I think red 
we scare the crap out of a lot of people. Red means inflammation, right? A lot of inflammation around the gallbladder. We call that what? Peri Coli cystic fluid. It's a lot of fluid around the gallbladder, around the sac. The sac is wet. Okay. What else are we gonna see? We might find a stone. If we see the stone, bam, he just gave us the we've got a cholecystitis going on. The gallbladder is gonna be distended also on ultrasound. That's another key thing you want to remember. Now, if we ultrasound is what? It's really not giving her the answer, we can do a CT scan. If we do a CT scan of the abdomen, we can be able to see the stone, we can see how big the gallbladder is, we can see how inflamed it is, right? But we also want a good cheapy medicine, right? Because people don't want to get big bills at home, right? I don't like that either. However, there's another test, test that you can order, which I'm gonna tr get, take some time out to explain to people here. It's called the HIDA scan. The hydrous guys are radionuclide dye, they're gonna inject. And typically the idea is this: the purpose of the HIDA, which HIDA really stands for hepatohemonoid acidic acid. Which is like a radionuclide agent. They're gonna take a needle. and inject the dye into your liver. It's supposed to act just like the, the bile that your, your liver actually makes. And the idea is this, the dye was supposed to travel out, go into your, common, into your uh, biliary tree, goes and highlight the gallbladder and comes out into the common bile ducts, right? That is the goal and actually I'm going to change this so you can see that something in a minute. Right? If everything is working in your gallbladder, we should be able to see the dye after four hours traveling, traveling all the way down to your gallbladder. Right? That's great. However, if you have cholecystitis, this is what we're going to see. I'm gonna inject the dye in, and lo and behold, because there's a stone obstructing the wall of the gallbladder, I'm not gonna see any gallbladder. <coughs> we are not gonna be able to see any gallbladder. The result's gonna come out like this. That is a positive HIDA scan. That is telling me you've got a stone, you've got a gallbladder problem. We need to take care of you, okay? But how do we treat? How do we treat? Management. First thing, let me erase this. Somebody coming out right up a quadrant pain, right? And we already made the diagnosis. It's acute cholecystitis. Make sure they're not eating any food. NPL, no food. You know why? Because if you think they make them eat again, they're gonna get that bladder to contract. So you wanna keep it to rest. You rest that gallbladder, it's already inflamed. If you're hurt right now, my finger hurts, or my elbow hurts right now, if you come and bang it again, I'm gonna punch you in the face. You know why? Cause it hurt, let it rest. NPL. <coughs> Give them a lot of fluids. Give them a lot of fluids, okay? Three, give them some pain medicine. Somebody in pain, you wanna give them pain medicine, all right? Morphine, something like that. But everybody's always saying, oh, if you give morphine, this fix the overload, yeah, okay. Give them dilaudid, something, just to calm down the pain. Another thing you wanna give, antibiotics. So you give them metronidazole, 500 milligrams IV, okay? Just to kinda of calm down the gut a little bit. All right, you wanna get rid of the bacteria in the gut, you don't want them to cause something we're gonna be talking about soon, all right? But eventually, you're gonna to have to go to surgery. Because why? This gallbladder is inflamed. It's not good. 
You can't be walking around with a gallbladder like that. Why? That's why we're going to talk about complications because people will say, why do I have to go to surgery? I don't want to go to surgery, man. Why? Can you got a medicine or something? You know what? The funny thing, you give somebody a dilaudid or you give them, you know, morphine, something like that, and they're pain free. They're like, can I go home? No, you're not going home. You know why? Because we got complications of this. So the main treatment is surgery, right? So what can go wrong if you decide not to fix this? Well, first of all, if this thing blows up, it's like this. Check this out. I'm trying to blow out a balloon, right? I blow the balloon out, and the problem is I can't let the air out. I keep blowing this balloon, eventually it's going to distend and distend and distend. The rupture. If you rupture the gallbladder, you're going to get biliary peritonitis. That is badness because you're going to go to sepsis and then you got to go to ICU. You don't want that. You can get a perforation, right? You can get a gallstone ileus. What is a gallstone ileus? It's a very huge inflamed gallbladder sitting next to your duodenum. And the inflammation can get really bad that you can form a fistula and all the stones can actually go in here and it can form a gallstone ileus. And what happens? The ileus is your bowel stops moving and you get constipated. This stone can go all the way to the uh, terminal ileum that goes into your large intestine, right? And can obstruct. And now you've got right lower quadrant pain, okay? You can develop emphysematous cholecystitis. You can become gangrenous. Gangrene, really necrotic. Okay? These are really, really, really badness that can go wrong. So we want to fix it. So the only treatment for cholecystitis is surgery. You consult surgery, you bring them in, and we take it out. And easy surgery. Now we have laparoscopic cholecystectomy, which takes, you take a bunch of like probes. You go in there, and even just with minimum scars in your belly, they take it out. You go home, same, you know, and the next day, you're good to go. All right? So that's the cholecystitis. That is the summary in short. Obstruction, inflammation, right? Now, we talk about the history of physical right upper quadrant pain going to the shoulder, right? We do an ultrasound. You can do a CT scan, a HIDA scan. And we have to give them MPO, keep them MPO, IV fluids, pain meds, antibiotics, and we take them to surgery. That is going to take us to the next step, which will be the next topic, cholidocholithiasis. Thank you.